So to turn it on, you just hit the on button here. It's gonna give you a revolutions per minute and then also a battery reading. It's turned on now and it's got zero in both screens. This top screen here is for the empty axis, the empty triangle, which is going to represent an axis this way. The, grade, the, the beam is gonna come out this way or this way. Any way you put the, the slope in, it's gonna shoot out this way. The bottom screen here represents an axis this way. So if you were to enter a slope in that screen, you would have an axis like this. It's important to note that the values of each screen varies. The top screen here can go all the way up to positive 25 and down to a negative grade of 0.50%. The bottom screen here can go from positive 10% to a negative 10%. So you need to Take care when you set it up. If you're doing a really high percentage of grade, you need to be using this axis. Now we're gonna go through how to align this laser. Things you'll need to align the laser are grade rod, the remote control, the eye, and the cable. First thing you need to do is set up the laser next to the wall that you're going to aligned with, which in this case we're going to use this wall here. I've got, I've already got the laser set up, it's spinning. First thing you need to do is measure the distance from the wall to the center of the laser. We're going to call that six foot eleven and a half. So my laser is six foot eleven and a half off of the wall. Our cable and our remote and our eye, and we hook them up. The cable is labeled eye and remote so that you can't, you shouldn't get them confused. They're different sizes, you can't hook them up opposite each other, it won't work. So you need to just pay attention to the labeling and the contacts on the remote and the cable. You can hook these up backwards. You just need to make sure that this is the proper way here. You can see there that the contacts are touching. If I were to spin it around the other way, the contacts would not be, they wouldn't be in contact with the contacts on the remote. So you just need to be cognizant of that when you're hooking it up. Same with the eye. Contacts there, now they're hooked up and they're aligned. You put your eye on your laser and your grade rod, and then we walk to the other end of the building we're grading up against. So now we've walked to the other end of the building we're grading against. I've measured off this wall, six foot 11 and a half, to match where my laser is at the other end. I've got my laser eye, so it's reading tone. And it doesn't matter whether or not it's, it's on tone, it's low, or it's high. It can be anywhere in that range just as long as the eye can see the beam. So now we enter in mode and it's going to ask us for a grade. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do the second grade. We want to align the axis. You can select your axis by going up or down on the remote control. We need to align the empty axis. So I'm going to select that one and hit the E button here. It'll say start, hit it again, and then it will tell you to wait. You need to be careful when you're setting it up and doing this that you're not moving the gray rod during the alignment at all. If you move the rod this way, it's going to throw the alignment off. And again, it's imperative that you not try to maintain tone because you, you will not be able to 
the laser is actually moving. You can see it on the eye right now. The beam is moving and the eye is not. So if you were to try and keep tone, you would be fighting it. You can see here on the remote, there's an R. That indicates that the remote is in contact with the eye. The little symbol next to the R is telling us that the remote is in contact with the laser. And the little, the smaller symbol above is telling us that they are talking back and forth. They are linked. And it's, it's working to get itself aligned there. One thing you need to be careful of when you're setting this up, this, this takes about anywhere from three to five minutes, the alignment itself. You need to account for that in your setup time. You don't want to be trying to do this when you've got stone trucks rolling in or you're trying to get a lot of dirt moved in a day. You just need to make sure you account for all this time. When the alignment is done, it will say complete. If you don't see it say complete, there, there might be an error. It will give you an error code if there's something something wrong. So you need to keep an eye on your remote and make sure you, you see that complete across the screen. There, see there it says complete. Now we're ready to start grading on a slope or a level plane. And next we will discuss how to enter slopes into the laser.